Okay, and I'm back again today, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, today, we're going to make this pretty plain and simple. We're making some good progress on this bike. Um, we're going to remove the fuel tank. And we're going to undo the bracket for the fuel tank, which is pretty simple. And then remove the quick connect on the side of it. And then I'm going to actually undo the bottom bolt off of the fuel pump because this bike has a fuel pressure regulator on it to adjust the fuel pressure, the evolution system. And I'm not 100% sure how that's um, bolted on there or how to adjust that properly. So the last owner of this bike did tell me that this bike ran and when he was riding it, it quit running when it crapped the fuel pump out of it. So I don't want to mess with the pressure, whatever he had it sat on, uh, set on. We're going to go ahead and try to get it running at that setting um, because the bike will run. If I start messing with it and I don't know what I'm doing, the bike won't run at all. So we'll go ahead and get started and remove this fuel tank and then uh, hopefully get it over to the bench and undo the fuel pump. And then I will do a fuel pump rebuild video on rebuilding the, the fuel pump. in. And I have an extra uh, fuel pump off another melee that I have that I do know is good. I have tested it. So I'm kind of weary on using this off-brand fuel pump, so when I get this pulled out, because this is a 99 model, I'll see if the fuel pump that I bought matches up to it. If not, um, I'll pull apart the other one, which was a 2002, and see if that fuel pump's the same, which that fuel pump should be the same. I think the housing and the bottom of the tank uh, was designed a little different. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll figure it out. Uh, that'll be another video on rebuilding the fuel pump, but... Yeah, making some progress. Super excited. Okay, and first things first, we're going to remove this quick connect here. And this gas tank does have fuel in it, so I'm going to try to avoid as much fuel loss as possible. But once I disconnect that other, uh, once I disconnect that other fuel line, which I wish had a quick disconnect, uh, it's going to leak fuel. So, and it's this line here. Now there actually is a harness underneath of here, so we'll go to the other side and go ahead and disconnect it. Well, you ain't going to believe this. Uh, he actually... I did not even check this when I bought the bike or looked at it. He has got the fuel pump disconnected. I'm going to try to turn this key over and see what this fuel pump does. I put I plugged the uh, low pressure light on and uh, I'm going to turn the key on. The fuel pumps, it don't sound good. It's building pressure, you can hear it. And then it just stopped. I have no idea. I'm gonna try to start it. Whoa. That fuel pump, you can hear that fuel pump. It's not supposed to squeal like that. Oh my God, if this bike starts. Let it set a minute. It's the fuel pump. The fuel pump isn't. Well, I'm not so sure that maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't pull the fuel pressure regulator off of this and see if it.
I cannot believe this thing started up. I cannot believe that this bike started up. Look at the smoke coming out of here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try to run this and uh, this exhaust, oh my God, that sounds so good. Well, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. Uh, when I first plugged this fuel pump back into the plug-in, you could hear it pressurizing the fuel line. I'm not, and, and you could hear the fuel pump winding. Now, there wasn't very much fuel in this, but it has to create pressure within the line to, to fire up. Um, now that I turn the key, that fuel pump sounds normal. Um, the bike doesn't want to idle where it should idle between 8 and 1200 RPM. So I turn the idle up to 2000 and the bike will continue to run. So um, I think the best thing to do here is I actually have an extra set of throttle bodies here. And I think what we'll do when I get some extra time here is I'm going to put the original fuel pressure regulator and the original nut and copper washers back on this and remove the fuel pressure uh, regulator system because um, I think it'll run. I'm not so sure that that fuel pump's I think that fuel pump's good. Now I, I will tell you when I pulled the 
I pulled the other relay off of the other bike over here in the corner and replaced the fuel pump relay there. And that fuel pump relay could be weak and sometimes they'll blow and sometimes they won't blow and they'll work until they get hot. And then once they overheat and get hot, they shut down. And then when they shut down, they cool off and then they'll continue to run. So yeah, I think, I think I'm going to replace the, I'm going to put the original parts back on this bike and see if it'll just start and run. That exhaust system sounds wicked on this thing. Uh, if I can get this bike to run and just keep it how it is, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm just not going to go do the title work tomorrow, but we'll go, I'm going to go ahead and start this up and let this thing run for a little bit and see if it shuts off. And then if it doesn't shut off, then next video I'll replace all these other parts and I'm not going to touch that fuel pump. Uh, the fuel pump is kind of a nightmare to change on these because of the nylon tanks. If they swollen, getting them to seal back is, is just a nightmare. That's why he didn't fix it. But uh, another problem could have been he could have had some problems with the Evolution high voltage system with the spark plugs. Um, I don't know. That's why I pulled that stuff off and put the original plugs back on here. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up again and let it run for a little bit. See if the fan kicks on, let the engine get warm, let it run. It ain't been running years. So, uh, and sometimes when they set for years, you'll find out what's actually wrong with it when you do get it running. So go ahead and fire it up, see what it does. I actually need to, uh, that fuel pump sounds fine. Need to reset the, the dash. Turn the water temperature to Fahrenheit. There we go. 
and see if it starts. Actually, I'm going to put some of this quick shot in here to clean the fuel injectors out that I got. As you can see, all that smoke and, and debris there was uh, unburnt fuel. So as you're revving it up, the fuel pump can't keep up with the pressure and then it kills the bike. So uh, maybe we will replace the fuel pump, but I am gonna tell you this, we're gonna replace these other parts back onto this before we touch that fuel pump and see if that fixes the problem first. So, okay, well, at least this bike runs.